Let me start by sharing a little story. Imagine you're an artist, painting a beautiful portrait. You carefully select your colors, mix the paints just right, and every brush stroke is deliberate. But then, just before you finish, you throw the brush down and start scribbling over the canvas. All that effort wasted, right? That's exactly what's happening to your eyes if you spend just 15 minutes doing exercises and the other 23 hours damaging your vision with poor habits. You're essentially erasing your progress. Now, we're not just focusing on exercises today. We're talking about how you care for your eyes all day long. These small habits can either help you regain your vision or hold you back. And believe me, these daily habits are just as important as the exercises themselves. Let's talk about the 15-minute routine. It's simple, but trust me, it's powerful. You might be thinking, 15 minutes? Is that really enough? Yes, absolutely. Because when it comes to improving your vision, consistency beats intensity every time. A lot of people start off super motivated, but life gets busy and they skip a day, then two days, and before they know it, they've fallen out of the habit altogether. I don't want that to happen to you. So here's the plan. Commit to just 15 minutes a day, no exceptions. Find a time that works for you. For me, midday was perfect. It gave my eyes a break from work and I could stick to it. Find a quiet spot. Make it your sanctuary for eye healing. Make it your time. Here's the best part. I've gathered a variety of exercises for you to choose from, so you'll never get bored. As you go through them, you'll find a few favorites. Some might feel tough at first, but after a few weeks, you'll actually start enjoying them. But remember, it's not just about those 15 minutes. How you treat your eyes during the rest of the day matters just as much, if not more. Let's talk about some bad habits that could be affecting your vision. First off, are you eating poorly? The wrong diet can wreak havoc on your vision. A diet high in sugar and low in essential nutrients like vitamin A can degenerate the retina and increase your risk of conditions like cataracts. So it's time to clean up your plate. Opt for more fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats. A balanced diet doesn't just improve your vision, it protects it from further deterioration. Speaking of balance, hydration is key. If you're not drinking enough water, your eyes are likely feeling it. Dry, irritated eyes? That's your body's way of telling you it's dehydrated. You need at least six to eight glasses of water daily to keep those eyes moisturized and working properly. Trust me, once you start hydrating regularly, your eyes will feel the difference. Now, let's get into something you might be doing without even realizing it. Wearing your glasses or contacts all day long without giving your eyes a break. Your eyes need oxygen, and wearing lenses constantly limits that. Take breaks, let your eyes breathe, and alternate between lenses and glasses when you can. Your eyes will appreciate it. And here's a big one, lying down while watching TV or reading. We've all done it, but this puts an incredible strain on your eyes, especially when they're trying to focus from awkward angles. Make sure when you're watching TV or reading, you're sitting upright, looking straight ahead, and at a reasonable distance from the screen or page. This simple change will do wonders for reducing eye strain. Speaking of reading, let's dive a bit deeper here. Reading is something most of us do every day, but it can also be a source of serious eye strain if done incorrectly. Picture this. You've had a long day at work, your energy is low, and you decide to read before bed. You slouch on the couch, hold the book close to your face, and the lighting isn't great. This is exactly how many people unknowingly damage their eyes. Here's how to make reading an activity that nourishes your eyes rather than harms them. First, only read when you're feeling alert. When you're tired or sick, your body is already working hard to recover. Adding eye strain on top of that only makes things worse. Next, ensure the lighting is bright enough. Natural sunlight is always the best. Indoors, though, make sure you're using a full-spectrum light bulb that mimics daylight. Dim lighting forces your eyes to work overtime, and that weakens them over time. And don't forget about posture. It might sound like something your grandmother told you, but sitting upright and holding your book or device about 20 inches from your face takes pressure off your eye muscles. When you slump, gravity pulls your eyeballs forward, stretching them and leading to nearsightedness. Finally, take breaks. 
If you're reading for more than 30 minutes, you're overworking your eyes. Every 30 minutes, get up, stretch, and focus on something far away for a few minutes. This is an easy way to refresh your vision and prevent strain. One more thing I need to mention is squinting. Squinting is one of the fastest ways to wear out your eye muscles. Try to keep your face relaxed, even when you're trying to focus. If you're finding it hard to see something, it's better to improve the lighting or adjust your position than to strain your eyes. Let's talk about sunglasses for a moment. While they're helpful in harsh sunlight, wearing them constantly can actually weaken your eyes. Spend more time outside without them and let your eyes adjust naturally to light. All right, now that we've covered the essential habits, let's move on to the exercises themselves. These exercises are split into three categories and each serves a different purpose. One, palming. This is the foundation of your routine. It helps you relax your eyes and you should do it every day. Just five minutes of palming can refresh your vision and give your eyes a much needed break from the strain. Two, eye muscle training. Think of these exercises as gym sessions for your eyes. They strengthen and stretch the muscles that help you focus. Regular practice will make your eye muscles more flexible and resilient. Three, other exercises. These exercises might not target the eyes directly, but they're important for your overall health and vision improvement. Every part of your body is connected and improving your general well-being will positively impact your eyes. You don't need to do all the exercises every day. Start with two or three and rotate them throughout the week. This keeps things fresh and prevents burnout. Now before we start, let me remind you of a few key principles to keep in mind throughout your journey. Relaxation is essential. The more relaxed your eyes are, the better they'll function. If you ever feel tension in your eyes, take a break. Don't force it. Breathe deeply. Your eyes, like every other part of your body, need oxygen. Deep, full breathing will help your eyes stay healthy and energized. Keep it fun. Don't turn this into a chore. If the exercises start to feel like a burden, your mind will resist. Approach each session with a light heart and you'll see better results. And most importantly, visualize your success. Regularly imagine yourself with clear vision. The mind is incredibly powerful and visualization can speed up your progress.